going to show you guys how to play some fast single strokes on the hi-hat. Also, this concept can be applied to playing really fast grooves on the hi-hat or the right cymbal or whatever you decide to use. And I'm going to explain why that is, like if you're playing rock grooves or punk grooves or Latin grooves or whatever, um, and how to apply that. So, also, if you dig this video, please like, please subscribe, and check out my book, Tactical Drumming Groove Survival Guide. I'll put a link for it in the description. Okay, so here we go, let's get into this. So the key to playing fast, especially on the hi-hat where you can kind of hear everything that's going on, is really all about technique. And the way I play quickly with my technique is I use a couple approaches. Right? So the first thing is I actually use a lot of my fingers. So my philosophy is that basically, if you're using the larger muscles, right, from your arm, from your elbow, or um, like about your shoulder, it's actually harder to get that speed. So when I'm moving quickly, I'm actually focusing on my fingers. And I create my fulcrum right here between the first two fingers, right, the thumb and the pointer finger, and then I gently wrap these around. But when I'm wrapping these fingers around, they're kind of gentle. And so I'm moving it. Well, that kind of was weird, but I move it on the hi-hat, right, as quickly as I can. What I'm doing is I'm pushing it down, and then I'm kind of controlling it. So if you basically just going back and forth here like that, right, kind of moving it with your fingers, that's what I'm doing. So I'm kind of letting the stick kind of bounce a little bit and then controlling it with the fingers, right? So if you imagine just taking the fulcrum here and then just dropping on the cymbal, that it's going to pop back up. And then what I'm doing is I'm controlling kind of that rebound. Here, now you'll notice when I'm playing a groove, I will actually move up and down, right? There's a little bit of extra motion that happens here, especially at the wrist. Um, and I'm doing, I, I do use a lot of wrist motion, right? So here I'm kind of hitting, and then the second stroke, I'm pushing up with my fingers, and then I hit again with my wrist. So it's this down touch, down touch, down touch. Now, to really get into this, to make it quick, so I'm playing these like really fast, and what I do is I actually break it down into kind of two concepts. The first one is I call what I call sprints or shorts, right? And so I might use something like a single stroke four, which is right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right? And so I'm gonna play that first. Then I use fives, one, two, three, four, five, or... Then I'm gonna do the longer ones, right? So maybe for like a groove, it might be like, a, uh, like two counts. Oh, sorry. Right, one, two. And so if I'm putting that in the groove. Kind of get the idea, right? Now, the other thing which someone actually asked about in another video is the concept of how to, when I was playing a punk rock groove, how do I actually play the right hand really quick, right? What I mean by that is this. So, so to actually be able to play that quickly, you'll notice my hand is actually pretty relaxed and kind of moving forward. And I would actually argue that the key to playing quick is actually being as relaxed as possible. So what I like to do is I'll start the groove slow, right? I've kind of got that buck sound, right? I'll add that. Then I'm gonna speed it up. whatever groove it is I might be doing. And then I'm gonna slowly push myself. What I like to do is push myself a little beyond what I can play, and then I back it off a little bit and sustain that for a long time, basically kind of building that muscle. Very similar to if you're, say, trying to like, you know, do more pull-ups or something like that. All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna play one out for you, and that is how you play a little bit faster on the hi-hat.